In this video, we're going to focus on the chart case array push method. And with the chart format, with the array push method, you can adjust in a chart the values. And basically, with the push, you're adding the value at the very end of an array. So you can see here we have this constant here that we have used in the previous video, which we created in the previous video. And what we want to do is imagine we have a new value we want to put at the very end. With push, we can do this. So let's start and explore how we can do this. And this is very important because here, if you would put this in here, and the order in where you put the push will matter because if you put it here below, it will not add in the chart JS, right? Because the the chart JS or the chart has already been drawn in the canvas. Basically, here the get context draws the canvas or draws whatever is in here, and this here grabs the value here above. So if you want to add up a value at the very end, we need to put it in here so it will be seen here. If we don't want that, we can put it here below and maybe you have a function where you want to update it if necessary. So we're going to do both. So you have to, so you have a very clear view of how it works. So let's say here we have a new value. We're going to say here the labels. We're going to copy the label and we want to push a new value and our value is called uh, the color black. So how do we add that up here? Well, we can say here labels dot push. This is the push method because here the labels is an array by default. We create these brackets here. That's an array. So now what we want to do is here we say here, for example, black to push. If we do this, we save this. You will see a refresh. You will see that we get the value or the label in here. But the chart js or the chart is not being. Uh, it doesn't show a value here. And you might say, well, why is it showing if it is blank? It should maybe not show at all. Well, the structure in chart.js is it will grab the labels as the common denominator, meaning that this is the standard. So if you would add up a new data point, let's up, add up a new data point here. So we say data. Let me say here push. And in here, we can, for example, add value number 10. If I save this now and refresh, you can see now we get number 10. What happens is, and you might say, why does it get the color red? Well, chart.js have a function in here, and this is since chart.js 3, it's basically this. If we don't specify a color, and we have a color array, as you can see here, these are color arrays because of the brackets. In this case, it will loop through the colors and will get the first color again if the last color is not specified. So the next color, if that's not specified, it will also get this next color value here that would be blue. So let's put in here another one. Let's say we have another value to push. Refresh, you can see here now as, it's, as it goes, it loops through. Now blue is the value here. So if, let's remove this, but if we only have a value and we will remove the label or you comment it out, let's save this and refresh. You can see now the black value is not being shown. The number is not being recognized because we didn't put any label. The labels is very important here in this case. All right. So we have this here. And imagine we want to put in something else. So let's get a background color as well here. So we get here the background color. And then we say here is our push. And in here we could get the background color. Well, I just copied this value here between the quotation marks. And I will give it a simple background color because it's a black equals zero 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 all right that's the background color should be with a transparency of 80 percent and alpha level 0 0.2 so that's correct and there you are we're going to do the final one here number one and this is not background color but this is border color we have here exactly the same if we save this down and refresh there we are we have this and it shows however if we would move this down I put it in here, we'll save this and refresh, you see it doesn't show up. The reason why it doesn't show up is because it's being drawn, as I told you. However, the array here is still added with this value. How can we check? Well, we can do here, basically we can say here console.log, and then we say here labels. And if I save this, you will see here in the developer tab, let's open up the developer tab, there's seven arrays. And the last value that we have added was number six, which is index number six. That's correct because we started zero and it is black. 
while it's not being shown here. So this is very useful to know how could we do it. Well, basically, we could do it like this. Imagine we have a button here. Let's add up the buttons here quickly. And in this button, we're going to say class. Uh, well, it doesn't matter so much the class, but basically we say here on click, we're going to make a function out of it. Push uh, value. And I'll just leave this here and then we'll just say push. If I save this here, refresh, you can see we have a button here now. And what I want to do is I want to activate this here in the function. So we create a function here. And this function name will be push value, which makes sense because that's the one we just created. And we can just put it in here. And then what we can do here is up uh, my chart, sorry, my chart dot update. And what really happens now is the following. We will update this part with the latest push value. So if I save this now, let's put it in here. All right, save this. Refresh. And now if I press push, you can see it's being updated with the value we added. However, if we keep on pushing, it keeps on adding. Why? Because we set it up here consistently, there's no limit on it. However, this is the way how you can add a value in the array using a constant here, creating the values all together. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.